My name is Dave and I'm from North Carolina and I live in Wake County. I'm a lifelong Republican. I first voted Republican in 1984 for Ronald Reagan and I've voted Republican in every election, including midterm since then until 2016. I did not vote for Trump in 2016 because I knew that this country was dividing and we needed somebody, the right person to come in and, um, and begin to unite this country. Um, so I wanted to talk about COVID just for a second because my time is limited here. Um, it took a period of time before the medical and scientific community could figure out, you know, what the best, what this was. But, uh, but once, once it was determined what we had uh, to deal with, you know, the CDC and the, and even Trump's COVID team, you know, came out with guidelines and it all made sense. Um, but, you know, Trump's been saying all along that, um, you know, he's downplayed the seriousness of it, which leads his, his followers to not take it seriously. Um, you know, this morning when I woke up and saw the news, we had 222,000 deaths in this country. Um, he is not to blame for all of those deaths, of course. But in, in my opinion, he is to blame for a significant portion of those deaths because of how he downplayed this virus and how he didn't take the recommendations of his own Pence-led team um, to wear a mask and to social distance and to set a good example. If he had done all of that, then we would be in so much of a better place right now. Uh, yeah, there, there would have been an economic impact for sure. Um, there would have been deaths, but logically I know that, uh, we, the numbers would be much less severe than they are right now, economically and from a death standpoint, we could actually be proud of the way our country has handled it. Um, and we would be in a much better situation. And, and honestly, Trump would have been reelected if he had handled this correctly. But instead, he downplayed it. He lied to the country and his supporters believed him and it's led to more deaths. It's that's just the bottom line. The, any logical person would have to agree with that. So this is why I'm voting for Joe Biden.